Hi again guys, welcome to another Urban Viking Ale Review. Um, today's beer is uh, one that was given to me by a workmate, um, which was really nice of him. Uh, Mike, if you're out there watching this, thanks very much. Rock the gods! He knows who he is. Um, the beer he's given me was, I think, inspired by the fact that I used to have a ginger beard. But thanks to um, Sofa King Drunk, it's now a sort of off purple. So anyway, the beer I'm going to be drinking is a 4.2% alcoholic ginger beer from the Witchwood Brewery called Ginger Beard. Look at that. Lovely artwork on that. I love these, um, the old Witchwood bottles. I think they're brilliant. I did get confused actually because when I went to the beer shop today to get my um, beer swaps, I was standing in the queue and the guy's gone to me, if you get another one you get a 10% discount. I was like, oh brilliant. So I'm looking around and I saw the cider section and I'm not a massive fan of cider. And um, I looked over there and I thought, oh blimey, it looks like a wit I remember someone mentioning that the Witchwood do a cider. So I've grabbed it thinking it was a Witchwood until I got home and I realised it isn't. It's a Thatcher's Green Goblin. This is what it looks like. But you can see where I got confused. I mean, the artwork on that's really nice as well. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to review that because I probably won't do it that much justice. I'm not a great cider fan, but... Nah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Anyway, back to the main brew. Ginger Beard from the Witchwood Brewery. Um, a traditionally crafted beer infused with fiery root ginger to deliver a refreshing, spicy finish with a bit of bite. Best served chilled or over ice to calm the flames. Um, I have seen uh, Mrs. Real Well Guide review this one because I know she likes her sweet beers. And she said it did have a very fiery taste, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Brewed and bottled in the UK. Um, and that's it, really. It doesn't really say much more than that. Contains barley malt. They're very secretive about their um, ingredients, aren't they, these, these companies? Um, Brewers of character, yep, lovely. Right, let's crack this one open. Get the old baby ready. The old Witchwood cap. Hi, sorry about that guys. Um, turns out my camera memory card ran out so I've had to just quickly um, store some of the other info on it and get back to it. Right, okay. Ginger beard, let's go. This is the second um, alcoholic ginger beer I've tried. The uh, first one being the M&S Marks and Spencers one, which was pretty nice. I quite like that. But I'm looking forward to this one because I do like the old Witchwood. Oh, giving that a bit of a head there. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Lovely. Still a little bit left in that. Okay, there you go. Right, it's a very um, pale uh, looking beer. Straight away I'm getting uh, obviously ginger, lemon, like um, almost like a white pepper smell. Also slightly, um, slightly soapy. Right, let's just wait for that to settle down slightly. Yeah, um, so yeah I just want to say thanks to Mike, um, a guy who works um, he's not exactly a work, he's not a work, well yeah he is, he's my mate and he and he works in the same place as me. But because I work in um, like a big shopping centre, he's got his own store in there, Pine and Oak World. If you're looking for a table or a chair, check out Pine and Oak World. Drake Circus Shopping Centre, Plymouth. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, he's a mate of mine on Facebook as well and he's, and he's seen me doing the beer reviews. And he kindly enough went and got me a bottle of this, so I'm really grateful for that. Um, 
Oh, it's getting rainy out there. It's starting to come down a bit. Right, let's get this on the go. Yeah, not not too much else on the on the on the smells. Cheers. Cheers, Mike. Oh wow. See, I remember the one I had before was. Whoa. Yeah, the fire does definitely does hit you after a couple of seconds. Now I remember the one I had before was um, I said it reminded me of a can of Idris, which is a, an old ginger beer I used to drink when I was a kid. But it still had that element of being an alcoholic beer. Um, this one is very very dangerous because it just tastes like a very sweet, very warming ginger beer. It doesn't taste like there's any alcohol in it whatsoever, which is not a bad thing because it's lovely. Right, let's give it another go. Four point two percent. I know that's not a high ABV, but wow, you can't taste any of it. It just tastes like a. That is a really, really nice flavour. Obviously, getting it, I can't really describe it. Um, it's a ginger beer. If you've had ginger beer before, that's what that is, and it's a very fiery one as well. I can feel it warming my lips and my tongue as well. When you take the initial first gulp, it's very sweet, very comforting, and then it's like bang, and then it hits you the warmth. I've still got it now, it's still at a, hitting the roof of my mouth, and even on my lips. That's really good. I really do like that. It's not very carbonated at all, even though there was quite a head, I, I did give it quite an aggressive pour, but the carbonation is very soft. It's, it's got a really, really fiery taste. I really do like that. <clears throat> yeah, good old ginger beard from the Witchwood Brewery. Who'd have thought it, eh? I'm looking forward to their seasonal stuff, because I know they do a couple of um, Christmas beers and and uh, stuff like that. Well, in fact, I'm looking forward to all the seasonal stuff because you get you tend to get the really um, boisterous sort of flavours around about then. And um, you know, you can't beat a winter ale. All oh, that is coming down out there. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'll see if I can take the camera out there. Have a look at this. Here's the old, um, sorry, here's the old flag of Norway. Yeah, can't really see it, but it's definitely coming down. Lovely. All right, okay. So yeah, this is probably um, the perfect beer for this sort of weather. <coughs> it's raining out there. It's lovely and warm in here. The only um, the only downside I would give to that is it's very sweet. Um, yeah, that's about it really. It is very sweet. It's very fiery. It's very ginger. Um, if I if I if I was to just drink that without knowing where it had come from, I would just say that was just a can of ginger pop. That you get in a, in, a, in a sweet shop or something like that, or a candy shop or whatever it is you buy it from. I would never be able to tell you that that's got alcohol in. So, you know, if you've got boisterous kids and you want to shut them up, give them some of this. No. <laughs> I don't mean that, by the way. Don't give your kids alcohol, it's bad. I'm not going to finish that because it's really sweet and it's starting to make me feel a bit sick but all in all as an alcoholic ginger beer that gets as a ginger beer alcoholic ginger beer that gets an 8 as a beer a 6 because it's really really sweet and it's really really sickly um, you know it's, it's oh. 
you know, if you've got a sweet tooth, grab it. I've got quite a sweet tooth, but even that's too much for me. But, you know, I'm going to do the final chug, because I've seen other reviewers do it, and you know, I'm going to do it as well. <laughs> Woo. That is so sweet. Oh. Mike, thanks for the beer. Much appreciated. I've probably got diabetes now, but you know, it's all part of the cause. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the comments. I definitely appreciate the subscriptions. Um, Blimey, if it was my, my, my top lips on fire now. Okay. Thanks again. See you soon. Urban Viking out with you.